this is a test video. It's because it's a test. This is what I'm about to do. Well, maybe. I bought a bunch of stuff. And this is one of them. And I didn't know it came with a propane bottle. And I bought a propane bottle. So now I have two propane bottles. Um, and Hacksaw's cut some stuff already. I, I guess we could start here. This is... This is a bucket. It's got a label on it somewhere. There's the label. Baron's Steel High Grade. I guess I got an A plus in grade school. That was a very deep joke. So this is a piece of wire. I got a big roll, of, well, fairly big roll of it. Um, I had watched some videos on the, the YouTubes where people have made um, aluminum foundries and I've talked with friends who have tried it and they have, my, my friends have complained about them cracking and breaking and even the videos that I watched had some recommendations on lengthening the life of the foundries but not anything in depth and from my experience making molds in the past um, reinforcements really really important working with fiberglass and plasters um, so my thought is I'm going to try and put a metal mesh, just one layer, into the plaster and sand that I'm going to make the walls of this foundry out of. So I, uh, I cut a piece to sit on the bottom and it doesn't sit flush. It actually is kind of, it's up uh, in most, I think it touches like there and there. And it's sitting up maybe half an inch from the bottom. So that'll allow some some of the foundry wall to harden underneath it and on top of it and inside it. And then we're going to have this in the walls. Actually, in the walls. And uh, the other bucket is upstairs. I'm, I'm going to actually insert a bucket into the bucket um, that I'll take out after the walls harden. And that'll leave a depression that I can pour coals or charcoal and place the cru crucible in there and melt to the aluminum or whatever metal I end up using. And then this will be part of the lid because that's where the biggest complaint of, of breakage and fracturing I've heard of is the lid just gets hot and you're moving it around the most and the, like the, the walls have, have the uh, convenience of just sitting there but the lid gets moved around and jostled so um, the reinforcement's mainly for, to, to lengthen the life of the lid more than anything else, but I thought, well, if I'm going to buy a hunk, why not reinforce everything? So, so that's um, some of my logic with that. One forty-five, one forty-five in the morning. It's Saturday morning. And that is the exact volume of the foundry wall material. The exact volume. I take it out and then I measure with another bucket how much water that is. It's got measuring parts on it. Let's bucket. Displaced volume for the foundry is about nine leaders to the dungeon. Like literally a dungeon. Hmm. Beautiful. 
clear for perfect. Come here, camera. That's what we're going for. Check it out. What a beautiful mess. Fluttered in the face already. <laughs> then place the first layer of reinforcement in the bottom. Here we go. This is what I have so far to show for my efforts. Mm. Rinse bucket, other bucket, beginnings, the foundry. This is so cool. Ah, it's a little deal with. That's okay. Because there are little bits, little teeny ends of the wire reinforcement coming out of the surface. There's some right there. See them? They're, they're so sharp and nasty and they hurt. And there's that. Probably ruined. I mean, it's not round anymore. <laughs> oh. So buttery smooth. Okay. Let's ruin part of it. With a drill. So, <laughs> this is kind of funny. So I have this hole saw here that I was using to cut the hole in the side of the foundry for the air supply, which will be pump through this metal pipe into the side. This is to the foundry before it was set up on purpose so that it would be um, deliciously smooth and it got filled with, um, with refractory lining. But I had to figure out a way of f removing it from the hole saw. I think I figured it out but it was really funny and kind of made me panic a little bit inside. I mean, already, this is really cool. That'll do. I'll do just fine. Ooh.
head clearance. Make that off. 